How would you subtract 85 hundredths minus 25 hundredths? In this lesson, you will learn how to subtract decimals by using base 10 blocks. Let's do some review. In the past, you may have used base 10 blocks to represent whole numbers. For example, one group of 100 would equal 100. Each group of 10 would equal 10, so here we see two groups of 10 equaling 20. And each individual single unit equals 1, so here we see three units. So this would represent the number 123. Today we're going to use base 10 blocks to represent both whole numbers and decimals. The set of blocks with 100 squares represents one whole unit. The set with 10 blocks represents one tenth because you would need 10 of these to make a whole unit. The single blocks represent one hundredth because you would need 100 of these to make a whole unit. Here's an example. 1 and 20 three hundredths would be shown like this. One whole unit, two tenths, and three hundredths. And you can see on our chart that represents 1 and 23 hundredths. Now when we're almost ready to subtract 85 hundredths minus 25 hundredths, but first we need to start by making a smart estimate. When you make a smart estimate, you choose numbers that are easy to work with and close to the number that you have got. You don't have to round to a specific place value like tenths or hundredths. So for 85 hundredths, I'm going to round to 75 hundredths. And for 25 hundredths, it's actually equal to 25 hundredths. So I'm going to say that 75 hundredths minus 25 hundredths is going to give me an estimate that's a little more than 50 hundredths. Now let's give it a try with base 10 blocks. I represent the 8 tenths in 85 with 8 rods, 8 of those tenths, and the 5 hundredths with 5 singles. I'll start by taking away the 5 hundredths. Then I'll take away the 2 tenths. What remains is 6 tenths and zero hundredths. You can say either six tenths or zero hundredths as your answer. You'll often see it written as you see it there on the right. This is a reasonable answer because it's close to our smart estimate of fifty hundredths. Let's try another one. You have a rope that's one and fifty four hundredths feet and you cut off fifteen hundredths feet. How much rope is left? Well, let's start with our smart estimate. One and fifty four hundredths could be rounded to one and fifty hundredths and fifteen hundredths could be rounded to well, 25 hundredths. So I'm going to say that our answer is going to be around 1 and 25 hundredths. When I start to do this, I need to first represent the 1 and 54 hundredths. So I start with one whole group, 5 tenths with those rods, and 4 singles. When I go to cut off 15 hundredths, I need to start by subtracting 5 hundredths. We always start by subtracting from the lowest number value from our lowest value. So as we do that, I see that I need to subtract five hundredths, but I only have here four hundredths. So this gives me an opportunity to take one of my tenths, break it down into its hundredths pieces, and you can see now I have nine tenths and five hundredths. I can then go ahead and subtract my five hundredths. I'm ready to subtract my one tenth, and I can see in my answer that I have one whole unit, three tenths, and nine hundredths left. You'll often see it like this. This is close to our SMART estimate, so it's a reasonable answer. In this lesson, you have learned to subtract decimals by using base 10 blocks.